In the early morning hours, police officer Edward R. Byrne, newly assigned to the 103 precinct, was sitting in his RMP on the corner of 107 Avenue and Inwood Street. He was there guarding a house of a family who had defied the drug dealers and agreed to testify against them. At approximately 3.30 a.m., four armed men crept up on both sides of Officer Byrne's RMP. Without uttering a word, they fired into the car, striking Officer Byrne in the head. All four men fled the scene, but six days later were captured. Officer Byrne was rushed to Mary Immaculate Hospital where he died. 33 years ago, we lost a true hero. 33 years ago, you could argue changed the course of history for this department and absolutely for this city. And year after year, we come back to remember Eddie's sacrifice. To Kenny, to Larry who's watching, and to all members of the Byrne family, we renew our vow to never forget, to never forget Eddie's sacrifice, to never forget what he did for the members of this Southeast Queens community. And we never forget how important it is that we will carry on his legacy. For me, 2020 was the most challenging year of my life, both professionally and personally. Policing during a worldwide pandemic, followed by weeks and weeks of civil unrest, then experiencing an explosion of gun violence, culminating with the passing of Commissioner Lawrence Byrne, who year after year stood with us in honor of his brother, Eddie. The past year has stolen loved ones from us, robbed us from time together, put stress on relationships, family members, friends, and strangers. We saw senseless violence, officers and civilians hurt and even killed under what appeared to be an unwavering negative energy trying to divide the nation. When we come on this job, we take a pledge. We take a pledge to serve the public, and we do. 33 years ago, we took a pledge to protect the witness here, and Ed Burns did that and gave his life doing it. But most importantly, we made a pledge to this family that we would never forget, and you haven't. 33 years later. 33 years later, we lost Eddie Byrne. We lost Lieutenant Matt Byrne. Now we've lost Larry Byrne. But nonetheless, for his family and Kenny's here, we're still on this street corner. And we'll be on this street corner every year, even when some of us are gone. For over 30 years, we've gathered here to honor Eddie's memory and sacrifice. And while this is always a hard week for my family, in fact, earlier this week, Eddie would have turned 55. But coming here tonight and seeing all of you, I can tell you, gives my family tremendous strength and comfort. But I also know more importantly, all of you right now are working under unprecedented conditions that the city has never seen before. You're dealing with a pandemic and a host of other issues. You're making personal sacrifices every single day. You make them, your family makes them. And for that, we owe all of you a debt of gratitude. So all I can say and all I can hope for is for all of you to please be well and be safe. And thank you again for coming and never forgetting my brother.